What's up everyone, this is Tyler Silver, and this is my safe for right now. Now, I want to talk about how how I store my silver in my safe. Now, as you can see, you really don't see any silver. All you can see is my maple leaf tube and this small tube, which you really can't see into. And that's all the silver you see. It's basically in boxes or up top in this black thing right here. So, I'm going to show you guys how what my safe looks like. Comment down below how you guys store your safe or how what it looks like. I don't know. You definitely can't put photos in your comments. So maybe make a video of how you guys store your silver. And I just want to see how everyone stores their silver and what the similarities and the differences of how everyone stores their silver. So I'm going to go ahead and just look at the bottom right now. Now currently what's on top is my gold pieces now this is just on the styrofoam right here that I usually just put my gold up the top and those are my gold pieces then next here are my maple leaves my tube I only have five more maple leaves I have to get to get the whole tube finished and then these are just my generic 10 ounces from JM bullion it's a sunshine minting and then here me move here is the interesting part are my boxes of silver. Now this is an Atmex box. You usually get them when you purchase from Atmex. And we can open it up. Maybe we can tilt that tripod down a bit. No. There we go. So this is all the silver that's in this box. It's usually all my plastic flips and baggies and mint like mint sealed the bars and coins that I usually have in here currently right now this is 20 ounces of silver exactly it just has my Britannia's my silver slayer bar my kangaroos maple leaves the um, American landmark series coin my poured one ounce silver from prospectors golden gems my kangaroo and the elephant Basically everything, every coin that I don't have in a capsule or in another form like a slab. So that's basically what I store in that box. So let's just shut this. And move this off to the side. Let's go back up to the safe. And then this box right here, I just got this from an order from an Ethernet cable. I just ordered an Ethernet cable off at back around Amazon. And it came in this box. And I decided to use the box. Now, I'm going to have to take the camera off the tripod to look in this. And it is just all my silver capsules. They're usually black gasket capsules that are, like, not... I don't have as many coins the same. So, my three maple leaves. They're just a variety of coins. I have a Route 66 coin, a uh, Spider-Man coin, or not Spider-Man, Superman coin. Sorry about that, I don't know why. I just saw the S and thought of Spider-Man. My only NGC slab coin, and basically just the coins that I don't have many duplicates of. There we go, let's close this. Move this off to the side. And then on the bottom right here, are two different things. This one, first one is a coin collecting inventory journal. We we'll open it up. It's basically just everything that I have um, in my stack just written down. So you can look at these as the how many ounces of it, then where it came from, where I bought it from. So, like coin server, Provident Metals, GM Bullion, Atmex, or the coin shop near me. Um, the condition, um, the NGC slab one is the only PF69, then the date I purchased them, and then the amount I paid for them. And they have, like, pages on pages of these. So, just for keeping my inventory, like, my inventory collected and know what's in my stack, I have that booklet, and I usually write it down. And then this folder right here... I don't want to open it up and show you, but it basically just has all my invoices that I get for my shipments, like how much I've paid for everything once again, so I can have it tracked twice. So, the last thing, here, not looking at it, okay, the last thing 
is up top. It is this black thing. I'm going to take it out and we're going to look at it right now. Now, this is all just my coins that I usually have sets of or multiples of. So, if you see up in the top left-hand corner, it's the Lunar Series. I have my 2-ounce rooster, 1-ounce rooster, half an ounce rooster, then Year of the Monkey up here, then the Colorized Year of the Monkey, and then Year of the Goat, the Year of the Tiger. So, I have the 17, 16, 15, and then the 2010. So, I'm trying to get the Lunar Series, but... I've been holding off since they are quite expensive, and I'm just trying to purchase one at a time. Now, if we look off to the left now, we're going to have to take off the tripod again, so sorry about the shaky camera work. Hopefully it's not that bad, but we have my Star Trek coin and the Dragon and Phoenix coin from the Perth Mint, so just Perth Mint coins right here, and then my Queen's Beast series coins right here, so the Lion, the Griffin, and the Dragon. And then the pandas, I have two 2017s and my two 2017 American Silver Eagles. Then in the top right over here, we have my 2016 koalas, three of them. And then four 2011 koalas. Then if we go on the top right, it's my 2000 kookaburro, 2008, that's the one I really love. And then the 2016 and then the 2017. And then on the bottom right, there is the shark series, so... It's just the half ounce shark series from the Perth Mint. So that's basically how I store my silver in my safe. If you guys want to make a video response, I'll definitely check it out. I know I subscribe to a lot of you guys, so I'll probably already have seen it if you guys make one. But I just want to show you guys how I store my silver in my safe. And that's how I store my silver, basically just in boxes and in tubes or just this black thing up here, the tray. So, hope you guys did like this video. It was a little longer than my usual videos. I was just showing you guys how I store my silver. Also, fun fact, I almost have 100 ounces of silver. I've been stagging for around eh, 3 months, I think, right now, or longer, maybe. It was less than a year, all I know, and I almost have 100 ounces. I'm at currently at 97.5 ounces of silver, so I'm really getting close. I only have, like... 9 grams of gold I think or 8 grams somewhere around there so I'm getting close to 100 ounces of silver so hopefully in my next video or within the week I'll be able to get 100 ounces of silver so hope you guys did enjoy this video once again have a great rest of your Sunday and see you later